Hi, my name is Cynthia Wakio, a Communication and Events Manager at Corporate Staffing Services. And today I'm joined by our lead recruiter, Mr. Pamina Swainaina, to tell us more about what foreign companies need to learn when hiring in Kenya. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to Wakio for having me. All right. So before a foreign company starts hiring in Kenya, what do they need to know? So there are, things, there are various things they need to take into consideration. And number one, this will be availability of skills. So do you have um, Kenyans who are qualified, who have the necessary qualifications? How competitive also is the industry? And also something else to consider is uh, what are the cultural differences? Because if you are coming from Europe and you want to hire a Kenyan, I'm sure you know, I mean, um, the societies are not the same. So it's good to take into consideration some of the cultural differences. Then uh, number two, they also con need to consider the labor laws because each country is guided by its own laws and regulation. It's not any different in Kenya. So Kenya, we do have the Employment Act that um, a foreigner or even a local company needs to adhere to. Then uh, issues to do with the labor laws include things like overtime, things like employment contract, and even HR policies and procedure. And lastly, I would say the other thing they need to consider key is the salary and the benefits. So here they would need to consider something like the salary range. Uh, what's the minimum or maximum that they need to pay? Then also, what are the benefits that come with these positions? Mm -hmm. And lastly, what are the working conditions? Yeah, so in a nutshell, I would say top of mind, those are the three things that uh, a potential uh, a foreign employer looking to consider hiring Kenyans need to have in mind. Yeah. You mentioned about the legal requirements. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, extensively look at the mandatory legal requirements they need to you know, have in mind. Yeah. I would say these ones are straightforward. So the law stipulates that uh, you must give the employee an employment contract, then obviously deduct the statutory deductions and remit them to the um, authority. So case in point is uh, the pay as you earn, then we have the National Social Security Fund. And for medication, we have the, for medical cover, we have the National Hospital Insurance Fund. Then uh, apart from remitting the statutory deduction, then there's a compliance with the labor law, as I had stated. Yeah. So top of mind, these are the key three. Yeah. All right. As a, so now as corporate staffing, we are a recruitment, top recruitment firm in Kenya. Yes. How can we come in to help these foreign companies? Yes, so beyond recruitment, uh, we are HR experts, we are qualified, so we do understand the labor market, we do understand uh, the labor laws, and we can be able to advise them if it's salary range, availability of the SKUs, how to even draft the employment contracts, and even what to include in their HR policies. So for example, there are companies who come and they tell us, Paminas, have a look at what we, are, we have from let's say South Africa, Europe, or Middle East, right. and see how you can make, make it, what can we borrow from our current jurisdiction, but also making sure that it applies to the Kenyan. Yeah, so we're able to do that. And uh, we've helped many organizations, foreign companies, uh, hire Kenyans, um, either um, as a subsidiary, when they open a subsidiary here in Kenya, or even uh, when they still just want to hire a representative. So the way we do it is um, we go beyond, apart from the advice on the labor laws, uh, the employment contract, the HR policies, uh, we do help companies in two ways. Number one, we can help them process their payroll. So if they don't have a physical presence in Kenya, we, they can send us the money, then we pay the staff, and then we uh, even do the statutory deduction and remittance to, to the government. And so that time, the employee um, is, is uh, we are the employer of the record. So it shows that corporate staffing uh, has hired you, but now you seen there you're working for this organization. Mm -hmm. So the relationship in terms of hiring, the staff has uh, a relationship with us, and us, we have the relationship with this foreign company. Mm -hmm. So that applies if you don't want to open an office here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So we take care of everything from hiring the right person for you, all the way to making sure that you are compliant. All right, so yes. that's very interesting. Yeah. So as we wrap up, any final advice to companies looking to you know hire in Kenya? I think for me is to tell them there is uh, good talent in Kenya, and in terms of work ethic, you'll find that the employees are switched on, professionals are switched on, and Kenya is it's an English speaking country. So again, you find if you are looking for uh, candidates with good communication and presentation skills, you do have that, 
And uh, if you're not looking to open an office, we can support you all the way from hiring the staff to making sure you are compliant in terms of giving them an employment contract and making sure that we are filing the statutories. So we remain the employer of record. And uh, yes, we do, we've done this for many companies. As, I, as I've said, we've been in business in the year 2009. So we know what it takes to make sure that you as a foreign firm, you succeed in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you so much for that. Thank you too. Thank you so much for watching. And for more information on how we can assist you on payroll, staff outsourcing, and recruiting in Kenya, please click on the link below. Bye.